Okay, so we have Diamond Head crash into the bouncing green ball and push into the goal ring. Okay. So yeah, this is the green ball one, not the third one. I was sadly mistaken about that. But yeah, basically you do the same thing you did in the other mission. Just knock this ball into the goal ring. It's a lot more difficult in this mission, though. Just from the uh, location of where the goal ring is. And you have to be careful with where your ball goes because it can actually get stuck indefinitely in a cavern if you're not careful. Like, I think I, I think one time the ball actually landed. Oh, yep, yeah, it's going to do that right now, actually. Okay, yeah. I kind of screwed myself right here, so let's crash into a wall and try this again. <laughs> That's probably going to be my first and only crash with the rocket belt in this entire playthrough. Okay, attempt number two. Let's try not to fail this time. Okay. Let's get lined up with the ball and let's start pushing it down. Let's try to get some vertical distance before we start getting some horizontal distance. That is not going to be good. That's just going to go back in the cave again. Or actually, okay, no, it's going to bounce over the cave. Thank God. Okay, let's see if we can get this down here now. Let's not go this way, though, because there's nothing over here. And I somehow missed the ball again. I'm at least heading in the right direction, though. Oh, wait, maybe I'm not. It's going this way. There's nothing over here. Why are you going this way? Okay. Well, I'm sucking at this mission. This really isn't that hard. I'm just, like, not able to do it for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and do it again. Okay, there we go. I think I should be good to go now. Oh, well, maybe not if it does that. You really have to look out for the bouncing that the ball does in this mission, because if it hits a slope, it's going to go in the direction of that slope. So just be careful. Okay, I think uh, two minutes is the time point cutoff, so I should still have this in a pretty good time. Not a perfect time, but in a good one, at least. Okay, now we have to wait for it to land. Okay, no, we got it. Never mind. It's kind of weird how you can actually put it over the funnel and not just into the funnel. Not really anything to complain about, though. Okay, so the last mission of this class is Touch and Go 2. Land on the floating pads in order, then land on the landing point. You must land on every pad to receive the time points. So, just like the second mission of the Class A missions, gotta land on these targets again. Okay. Um, a lot of people were actually wondering, uh, when I did this mission the first time, or well, not this mission, but the first variation of this mission, uh, that was the mission where I kind of got a very weird landing score, even though I landed really well. Uh, people are wondering if you got to have a good landing for all these little pads as well, and not just the landing target. Um, I'm pretty sure it only counts the landing target. I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Because it wouldn't make sense if to count all these individual landings. I mean, that's just actually kind of cruel, if you ask me. But it's a good theory nonetheless. It was a good theory. I just don't think that theory actually holds any water. Um, someone actually said that um, you have to decrease your speed to at least 10 kilometers per hour whenever you're landing. Again, I don't know that if that's for sure what you have to do, but that might be it. I really don't know. I honestly don't know the mechanics of this game very well. It really could be anything. Okay, where's the target? Is this the weird one, or... Okay, no, it's not. It's above me. Okay, there it is. There is one target where you kind of have to go inside of a cave, and yeah, it's that one right there, actually. Okay, so let's quickly land on you. Then go over here to this one. Remember to still land softly, though, because you don't want to get any point deductions. Watch out for the cave wall, that you don't hit it, mistakenly. Then go over here to this target. Okay, come on, be 
careful, be careful, be careful. Don't want to screw up, don't want to screw up. Okay. Now right here, don't make the mistake to go inside the cave. Because that's actually the dark cavern from the um, first mission. And yeah, if you go through that, you'll have to do the entire cave, and then you'll get out at the very end and be so far away from the target, it's not even funny. So yeah, don't go in there. Just get out of the cave and then hit this landing point. And then, yeah, just finish up the mission. Okay, last target. The main target. Let's go ahead and try this landing strategy out that I got. Again, not sure if it's going to work, but you never know. I hope my time points are okay. I have been taking more time than I usually do for this mission. Ninety-nine! I lost one time point. Meaning the time limit was actually three minutes, so... Eh, not bad. I was still pretty close, at least. And there we go. We got our gold badge for Rocket Belt Pilot Class. We only have one more gold badge to go. And it's right here in the gyrocopter mission, so let's take care of this. Um, for this, I'm going to go with my main man, Goose. Goose is probably my favorite character in the entire game, so yeah, that's why I'm going to use him. Okay, first we have Test 1, Ice Hornet. Fly through as many rings as you can, then land on the runway. Okay, so this mission is actually a lot like the first mission of the gyrocopter B class. Um, you have to fly through all the rings if you want to get perfect time points, but you can also take alternate routes and get like different and more inconveniently located rings to actually get the perfect score. And I'm going to show you the best route to use in order to get that perfect score. So first, we got to fly through these rings. When you get to this ring right here, you're going to want to slow down majorly because the ring right after it is all the way down here. I think I got it though. And whenever you can, speed up as much as possible. Just make sure you don't speed up when you're trying to make a tight turn or a sharp descend or ascend. Otherwise, you're probably going to miss a ring if you do that. Okay. So right here, after you get this ring, I think... Yeah, uh, two rings will actually appear on your radar. And one of the rings is actually a white ring. So you're going to want to go for the white ring and not the blue ring because the white ring will give you more points and thus actually, you know, give you the opportunity for a perfect score. And another ring is going to appear over here, which is another white ring. So yeah, basically the white path is good. Uh, the blue path is also good, but again, you're not going to get a perfect score if you take the only blue path. Okay, get this ring, watch out, okay. Uh, make sure you hit all the yellow rings as well. Um, the yellow rings, you can miss them and not, like, you know, fail the time points. But you get more points if you do hit the yellow rings, so make sure you get those too. Okay, so right here, another white ring will appear. Kind of have to take a sharp turn to find it, though. It's all the way up here on the mountain. And then I believe the last white ring will appear all the way down here now. And after this ring, we'll actually have to make our landing, so... Yeah, that's basically how you're supposed to do this mission. I think the time limit for this is 2.30, which I might be able to make. I don't know. It depends on if I can slow down fast enough and actually get on the target. Okay, I probably won't get perfect time points. I'm just going to be focused on a good landing now. Eh, that wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. As long as I get a low 90 or high 80, I should be okay. 70? Wow, I didn't get anything for landing impact right there. Okay, that kind of sucks. I'll probably have to redo that mission in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one, though. Okay, so next we have Balloon Rush. Destroy 20 of the 30 balloons, then land on the runway. You must destroy 20 balloons to receive time points. Okay, so this is another target uh, mission. 
You don't have to hit all the targets this time, though. And there are actually a lot of targets to hit. And the good thing about this mission is you can actually run into the targets in this one as well. Because instead of targets, you actually have balloons. So you can either run into them or fire at them. It's really up to you. Whatever you want to do. Damn it, I missed that balloon. Okay, something is seriously wrong with my joystick. I don't know what. And now I know people are going to make some immature jokes about that statement as well. I really got to stop saying suggestive things. I actually do that quite a bit in my videos. I know like in several of my, um, I think, Advance Wars videos, I kept saying this is a very long and hard mission and, you know, obviously people made a lot of jokes about that long and hard. But yeah, let's stop talking about sexual innuendos. Ugh, okay. I've done this mission a lot better than I am right now, but I'm not doing it terribly. Once again, I think this is one where they actually are pretty generous with the time points. Okay, there's two more. And just for good measure, I'll run into this one. And then I ask you to please land. Well, since you asked me so nicely, I will definitely land for you. Okay, runway is all the way over here, I think. Okay, yeah, it's over, no, it's over here. Okay. That's fine, I'm still going to make it pretty well, I think. It won't be a god-awful landing anyways. Okay, wow, this is actually going to be perfect. As long as I made the time points, that should actually be a really good landing. Alright, perfect. Alright, okay. So, looking at my score right now, I'm going to need a 94 on this next mission if I actually want to, you know, get a gold medal and end the project with a... or not the project, but the main part of the project with gold medals. However, once you finish this uh, class, it immediately takes you to the credits. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and quickly... Uh, improve my score for test one and then I'll do the last test Mecha Hawk again so I'm gonna go ahead and do this again I'll see you for the landing okay I actually had a pretty good run in this mission um, I did miss a yellow ring and the landing right here is looking like crap right now but we'll see what I get okay wow that was actually pretty good considering kinda crap impact though but yeah, I missed the yellow ring just because I was going way too fast, and I just missed it. Uh, 92, I will accept that. Which means I'll have to get, I think it's 78 in the next mission if I want to actually, you know, complete this with a gold badge. Which, you know, that might actually work out, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot.